Dr. Rena Ziade. When it comes to taking care of asthma, there are three things that are very important. Always have your medicines on hand. Know how to use your medicines to control your asthma symptoms. Know how and when to get help when you need it. Working with you as a team, we at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh and Children's Community Pediatrics can help you keep your asthma under control. Here's more information about what asthma looks and feels like from asthma specialist Alvin Singh. If you're going to try to control your asthma, it's very important that you know what asthma is and what it looks and feels like. So let's talk about what happens when you breathe. You breathe air in through your mouth or nose, it goes down your windpipe or trachea, and then to your lungs through various sized airways. In asthma, a trigger of some sort causes the airways to become inflamed, swollen, and filled with mucus. This causes obstruction of the airways, which makes it harder to get air in and out of the lungs. Your chest might feel very tight, as if someone is sitting on it. You may cough a lot and also have trouble keeping up with your friends during sports or other activities. You may also notice a whistling sound when you breathe, which is also called a wheeze. These symptoms can occur during the day or at night. Some people who have an asthma attack say it's like trying to breathe through a straw. Other symptoms include rapid breathing, breathing with the shoulders, and flaring of the nostrils. Smaller children can have rapid breathing as well, which can sometimes cause the skin around the neck and the ribs to be sucked in. Any child can have the symptoms described above with a cold. But if the same symptoms keep coming back more frequently, you should think of asthma as a possible diagnosis and see your pediatrician. Asthma can be brought on and made worse by different things. Allergies, which are accompanied by sneezing and runny nose, can also make asthma worse. Seasonal allergies can also make asthma worse depending on the time of year. Various allergens, such as dust, grass, ragweed, and a mold can make asthma worse. Other triggers, such as changes in weather, crying or laughing very hard, and the common cold can make asthma worse as well. Hi, I'm Linda Earhart with the American Lung Association, Program Manager for Pennsylvania Asthma Partnership. I hope you found these videos helpful. For more information on how to stay healthy and gain control of your asthma, you can visit these websites, chp.edu or paasthma.org.